in the fires of Mount Doom, the Dark Lord Sauron forged in secret a master ring. One ring to rule them all. I know what you're thinking. This is like the 800th franchise to get Lego-fied for the purposes of a video game. But here's the deal. Yes, they're all basically the same game. And yes, they started getting a bit stale years ago. But the first time you see Middle Earth in Lego form, it's impossible not to smile. Whether it's Batman, Star Wars, or now Tolkien, the Lego series seems to be perpetually endearing. And when you add hobbits, I mean... It's even more so. It's LEGO Lord of the Rings for the Nintendo 3DS. Now, if you've never played a LEGO game, I admire your resistance. But to get you up to speed, they're basically very simple beat-em-ups, but with some exploration and puzzle solving. They take a popular franchise and then recreate its characters and worlds with lots of LEGO blocks and even more charm. Jeez, so much for sharing the load! So with Lord of the Rings, it's literally business as usual. You play as characters and in environments from the movies, doing the same things you've done in prior LEGO titles. There's some rudimentary combat, uh, comprised mostly of melee attacks, but the game's primary focus is really solving puzzles and collecting LEGO studs. I guess the nice thing about this one, though, is that it's really tied directly to the films. The cutscenes recreate scenes from the movies in Lego form, and all the dialogue is actually audio straight from the movies. And this is pretty cool because it feels like you're playing along with the films, however loosely. Uh, but the quality of the audio does suffer as a result. It sounds like it was taped in a theater. Freaking bootlegs. For 500 years it poisoned his mind. But something happened then the ring did not intend. What's this? A hobbit. Bilbo Baggins of the Shire. Another thing worth pointing out is that, like LEGO Batman 2, this handheld version clearly wasn't the priority. The game's just better on consoles, where it has a lot more polish. On the 3DS, there are some technical issues with things like hit detection, as well as an obvious feeling that this is the B version of the game. But still, the B version of a LEGO game is perfectly enjoyable. I would recommend the console version, simply for big screen multiplayer, which is when these games are at their best, but if you prefer to have Middle Earth on the go, this one's just fine. One does not simply walk into Mordor, but if one did, one could take LEGO Lord of the Rings for the Nintendo 3DS. 